What's up, creepers and geekers? Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Let me take a sip of this. Mm. You know, I've gotten a couple of, uh, you know, questions the past week or so. Ask me, Chris, why haven't you talked about the new Atari Retro handheld that's not coming out by At Games? I was even approached on the streets here in the town I, I live in at a red light. I mean, I knew the individual, but he, even he was like, hey, have you seen this? How come you haven't made a video about it? Blah, 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 whatever. So I'm going to talk about it now. And just to put it as simple as possible, two reasons why I haven't really spoken about it. And we'll go into more detail about that um, as we will also turn the camera and we'll look at the website and discuss it from there. And I'll, then I'll just give you my final thoughts. But... To put it simply, two-part reason why I haven't really discussed it until now is, one, I'm not really excited about it. I can't get excited about this product um, for a handful of little personal reasons. I'm not saying it's going to be a bad product. In fact, six months ago, Chris, maybe a year ago, Chris, probably would have jumped all over this and had a rage in fucking Woody. Um, but maybe, to me, the Atari name is starting to develop a little bit of intellectual property fatigue. I don't know. We'll get into that. Maybe this will become a psychology lesson for all of us. And and secondly, I just think this is a better option as far as what I'm seeing here. Um, this is expandable. I mean, you get the SD card slot right here, which I've yet to utilize. So, <laughs> um, But should I want to put the majority of the uh, console's library on here, I can. Whereas I'm not seeing that with this double the price option. So... I'm seeing that, the intellectual fatigue. I'm seeing it doesn't really have the same kind of functionality. Now, that shouldn't really bug me because I'm pretty sure everything is going to be internally. And by that, I'm talking about what that Games was able to do with these buttons right here. You know, I'm staring at the screen. I shouldn't do that. But um, maybe they'll do all the little switches from the console internally. And that's, and that's fine. And I can't mention it enough, the, the lack of SD support. Or upgradability. As far as we know so far, there's not much on the website. For all I know, this will come with a cable that you can plug into your computer and you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. But for right now, it's just looking like a, a very costly, very pretty way of playing Atari on the go. Um, now, before we look at it, I also want to note that they're also offering a joystick plug-and-play that looks like your, your typical Atari joystick plug-and-play. It looks like an Atari joystick, and it's got X amount of games in it. And it, it looks identical to what we've seen in the past, so I can't get really excited about that either. Um, maybe the quality will be a lot better, but regardless, let's let's look at this fucking thing. And uh, let's talk about it, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so here we are. As long as I don't knock the fucking camera over. Um, we're on the uh, UK-based fun stock. Retro co dot uk Atari Retro handheld. Um, I, I find it funny right here. It says reviews. <laughs> uh, right now, it's available for pre order. At I'm assuming that's the pound symbol. So it's thirty four ninety nine in pounds, which is roughly about eighty to ninety dollars here in the states. The first thing that really sticks out to me, and this is another reason why I, I didn't really bother too much with it, is I swear to God, I saw this exact image. Made by a fan or something. God, two years ago? A year and a half ago? It looked almost identical. And I tried to find it on Google. And I could not find it to save my life. Um, but looking at this aesthetically, it's it's pleasing. It's pretty. You know, you get, your, uh, you get your select and your start buttons right here. So that's taken care of. And then you have two action buttons. So I don't know what they're going with here. Um... You don't really need two action buttons for 2,600 games. Maybe it'll support 7,800 down the line. Who knows? Um, then you have your directional thing here, which looks like it's probably going to be more akin to the um, the one that we have on our 3DS, which to me, I guess, wouldn't be that big a deal. It'd be nice if they put like a little spinner option around it, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. So let's look at other angles. Here's the back. And here's one of the benefits. It's going to take AAA batteries, three of them, I believe. Which, uh, I, Mr. Canadian Zankeef did a video about this. He's all excited, and he's already pre-ordered his. And he made a very interesting point. I mean, like, with this one here, you can't get into it to replace the battery. In theory, I mean, you could open it up and whatever. But, 
Um, I'm sure because this is made in China, it's a generic battery. But long story short, you don't have to worry about the rechargeability or something. A couple AAA batteries and, and you're good to go. So I do, I do enjoy that aspect of it. So I'm going to assume this is the top. And as we're looking at this right here, you get your on off and you do have an AV out. Very similar to what we had with this. Um, and if you have one of those little headphone jack slash RCA cable things, awesome. And you can play it on TV. And uh, I, I believe that's a great that's a great addition. Because um, sometimes looking at little screens can get annoying. So here's another picture of the side. Here's a picture of the bottom. I can only assume that's going to be a headphone jack. Because um, we're not going to need a charging port. It would be nice to see some kind of a USB something down here. Again, so you can plug this into a computer and update it somehow. And then the rest of it is just pictures of Atari games that we're all familiar with. So let's let's go to the read more here. And they talk about, and they don't give us much specs, but it's, you know, it's a re-imaging of design with the wood grain effect. And yeah, it's very, it's very Atari 2600, um, which is very cool. I do dig the aesthetics. It has 50 built-in games, and we'll get to that. A 2.4 inch screen. AV output, which we've we've uh, already mentioned, responsive buttons. That's <laughs> that's kind of a weird inclusion there. I mean, of course they'd be fucking responsive. I would hope so. I hope that would be a given, but apparently they think it's a feature. So whatever. And then AAA batteries required, which are not included, but that's okay. They're cheap enough. So let's get to the list of games, and um, yeah, and then we'll we'll you know whatever. 3D Tic Tac Toe. Adventure, Air Sea Battle, Asteroids, with a registered trademark. Blackjack, Bowling, Breakout, Canyon Bomber, Casino. We have Centipede, great game. Circus Atari, <laughs> Crystal Castles, Demons to Diamonds, Desert Falcon. That's a good game. Uh, Dodge'em, Double Dunk, Fun with Numbers. See, that's, that's definitely a must-have right there. Golf, Golf on the Atari 2600 is amazing. Uh, Gravatar, Haunted House, yeah boy, uh, Home Run, Human Cannonball, Maze Craze, Millipede, Miniature Golf, Missile Command, Night Driver, Off the Wall, Pong Video Olympics, Quadra Run, Radar Lock, Real Sports Football, Tennis, and Volleyball, Sprint Master, Star Raiders, Steeplechase, let me adjust the screen here. Uh, Stellar Track, Street Racer, that's a fun game. Uh, Submarine Commander, Super Baseball, Super Breakout. S three of the, the Earth World games, all three of them. Tempest, which, eh, I don't know. I don't think in 2600 it's all that great, but it's fun to see. Video Checkers, Video Chess, Video Pinball, which I love. And, of course, the always almighty Yaz Revenge. Um... My only problem with this list is the same one I had with my Atari Portable here. And anything that comes out that's plug and play. The inclusion of tons of paddle games and the Sword Quest games. Um, aside from that, it's a pretty solid list and you really can't complain. I mean, that's what the Atari had to offer. It'd be nice if they could get some... Titles that really define the Atari, like Space Invaders and that Pac-Man and even E.T. and Raiders of the Lost Ark and stuff like that. But I understand there are some licensing deals there and it'll probably be a lot cheaper just to go with straight Atari intellectual properties. And, um, yeah, but overall I think it looks like a nice unit. It's just something I've seen before and fuck, if anyone could find that old image, um, as far as I know, maybe that's even it. I can't remember. So that's pretty much it. You know, I do apologize for not being too enthusiastic about this. Um, I mean, there's more to it than just this product. Why I'm not as enthusiastic. But I just, I don't know. I can't get down with it. Um, Mr. Canadian Zankeef uploaded one of his Jabber Cut videos uh, a handful of days ago. Um, if I remember, I'll, I'll link to it down below. Showing his excitement and announcing his pre-order of it. And I'm honestly awaiting his arrival of it, shy of somehow I getting a demo unit, which I would rather get a demo unit of the Retron 77 anyway, but uh, regardless of any of that, 
I, I know I'm in tune with a lot of his likes and dislikes, and, and he's a straightforward kind of guy, and he's not going to fluff this thing up. I, I want to know what it's like from a real cat, you know? Not someone who gets paid to do endorsements and, and what have you. So I think personally the creep is going to wait for him to get his and just see how this thing pans out. I'm not saying it's going to be a bad product. I think it's a great looking product. I think it's going to do what it's supposed to do flawlessly. Um, I just personally can't get excited. And should I have not had this? Maybe I could have. But um, regardless if you think this is an inferior product or not. It has features that I personally think outweigh the benefits of owning an officially another licensed product from Atari that's aesthetically pleasing. Um, and that's really all there is to that. What are your thoughts on this? Have you been looking at this thing? Do you, have you pre-ordered one? Um, is this the first time you've heard of it? Let me down. Let me know down below in the comments um, what you think. Um, honestly, I want to know. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. So, you know, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, school season has just kicked in, so our schedules are all out of whack again, hence the sporadic uh, schedule as far as my video uploading is concerned. So I hope you're bearing in there with me, but I got some content. I got a whole bunch of notes here on episodes here. I'll probably pepper in throughout the next couple of weeks. So guys, like I said, as always, thank you so much for watching. Leave feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback's positive. What do you think of this new Atari product? Leave your comments down below. And as always, take care and bye bye Hey, what's up, folks? The Creep here. Thank you, as always, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more. You can follow The Creep on social media, and feel free to reach out at any time here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Creep would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you, take care, and bye-bye.